Hey Jason, finally I'm going to make this short video for you, uh, talk a little bit about the current bikes and then I'm going to be sending you uh, some video links or probably just some, some videos to, for your dad to use uh, in the DVD player and talking about the new bikes and the new engine and so forth. Um, really some good stuff coming. Um, let me touch first on, well let me first tell you uh, when you're looking at this bike in the video and you see things in the background, kind of take that with a grain of salt. We moved from our uh, Lincoln location, or our Omaha location, to our new location here in Lincoln. We had to move somewhat hastily, so I'm actually set up in an old Quiznos restaurant right now. So you can kind of see the wallpaper there. Um, we've got the Quiznos decor here, and uh, we've got construction going on next door, in which case, once that's done, they'll tear all this out, and uh, this will be part of our showroom. Show, showroom would be about twice the size of this whole entire area so it's going to be a really nice setup when it's all done really nice boutique shop um, so again ignore the tile coming up and the funky wallpaper and the sandwiches and soup and cheese on the walls and, and we'll talk motorcycles okay so so this guy here this one's a, a 2009 chief vintage um, from 2009 to 2013 they're pretty well all the same bike the 2012s and 13s were built by Polaris, but they were building the same bike we had since 2009. So they're all the same, uh, and all the different models are all based off the same platform. The main differences would be uh, different kind of leather, uh, seat options, saddlebags, windshield, engine guards, uh, passenger floorboards. Uh, you know, a lot of, there's a lot of detail, um, but they're all the same ride. So. Um, let me just start with a couple of things. We use the current model has the uh, Power Plus 105. So it's a 105 cubic inch uh, cast aluminum Nicosil plated cylinders. Kind of call it like the bottle cap engine um, because it's rounded cylinders and rounded cylinder head uh, valve covers and it looks kind of like a bottle cap. So hence the term bottle cap design. Um, really long tall cylinders and that's kind of misleading. You got a lot of area up here that's um, just a cover. Um, stainless steel exhaust, uh, hydraulic lifters, um, Baker six-speed transmission, um, Brembo brakes. You can't really see it, but they're Brembos. Um, so a lot of chrome on these babies as well. Really just a, a, the fit and finish is really nice on these bikes. Um, this guy here has the uh, tan distressed leather. It's very pliable. Uh, it's, it's very soft to the touch. It's, it's just gorgeous uh, material. It, it'll wear in, so to speak, uh, as you ride it and get it out in the weather. Um, but that's just part of the natural leather. See, I'll walk around here. This, this one we added uh, the extra leather to the handlebars, uh, added it to the engine guards down here. Um, we've got a multi-function display. Um, let's see, detachable windshield. So the windshield pops right off and so do the saddlebags. The saddlebags are a quick detach. And I'm going to set my phone down. I'm going to pop that bag off and then show you what it looks like with the with the bags off so you can see that fender. Hold on one sec. Bear with me there. Okay. If I had somebody here to help me, I'd, I'd have them film this while I was doing that stuff. But So when you pop that saddlebag off, they're nice and clean, nice clean mounts. It just hangs on there and clamps on. It takes seconds to take it off. But it looks really good without the bags. Take the windshield off as well. And it's a, it screams Indian with those deep fenders. Uh, so I love that. Um, let's see. As I'm walking around, I'm just trying to point things out to you on this. Um, you notice the foot controls, uh, it's not just cheap stamped chrome metal. You know, it's all high-end aluminum uh, chrome material, uh, chrome forks, and your chrome controls. Um, so a lot, a lot of detail, really just a work of art. Now these are a solid mount engine and they're not balanced. They're, they're not counterbalanced. So it is a balanced crankshaft, um, but it is not counterbalanced. So if you if you race it or lug it, you know, it, it, it just, you don't like it. Uh, you'll feel that vibration resonate through the bike. And it's just not that kind of bike, really. It's a wonderful bike to ride, very comfortable, uh, handles really well. Um, 
certainly is a conversation everywhere you go because these things really are a work of art. Now, uh, let me think if there's anything else to point out on this bike before I talk about the new ones. Um, 60 spoke tubeless wheels, uh, so that's a key feature on them as well. Um, oh, I'm probably forgetting something, but um, so to compare this to the new one, the new bike is going to be literally a whole new motorcycle. So not just a new engine, not just a, a revamp of this one. It, it really is a whole new bike. And several reasons they're doing that. Obviously, they want Polaris wants to put their stamp on it. Um, but they also want to make, make a bike that performs exceptionally well and is more efficient to build. And, uh, you know, top-notch reliability, top-notch performance and styling and looks. And I think they've accomplished that. Um, this new bike is going to be... Similar to this from a distance, if, you, if you're across the street and you see the two bikes sitting side by side, it may be hard to tell which is which. Um, so they're going to get the styling right because the styling is great on this bike. Um, but that motor, the new motor is going to be at the Thunderstroke 111 and it'll be a unitized setup. So the engine, tr tranny, and primary will all be one, one case, um, which leads you to no primary chain, so no adjustments there. Uh, one oil change makes it real easy to handle, or real easy to maintain. Um, I don't know if it has hydraulic lifters. I, I'm gonna assume that it does. Uh, six speed transmission. Um, and th this, this will all be in a different video I'm gonna sh give to you as well. Um, the, the seat height, from what I can tell, looking at the video, is lower than this one. This one's 27 and a half inches. So it's not the lowest seat height out there. Um, the new one, I can just tell by looking at it um, that it is lower, uh, which will give you a very nice ride. Um, I don't know the overall length of the new one. Uh, this one's pretty long. My hunch is it'll be a little bit shorter. Uh, this one fits the really tall guys very, very well. Um, but shorter people, you know, you struggle a little bit. Um, so my hunch is the other one will be, the new one will be just a touch shorter. This one is, 68.4 inch wheelbase, uh, 100 and a half overall length. So um, it looks like the new one has spoked wheels like this one. Uh, it definitely looks like it has skirted fenders just as this one does, chrome forks. Uh, the fuel tank looks very, very similar. The dash, however, is different. One issue I have with this is uh, when the sunlight is just right, it is hard to see. And at night, sometimes when you're on high beam, the high beam indicator can leave a reflection right here on the wind, windshield. So by angling that uh, meter up, they're, they're making it more visible. And I can also see by looking at the meter that the new bike has ABS and it has cruise control. So those are wonderful features that everybody's kind of accustomed to having. Um, it also has a fuel gauge as well, the new bike does. So those are some neat, neat things and that dash is really uh, uh, reminiscent of the old bikes as well. Um, the seat, uh, it looks like it's a leather seat. I, I can't say for sure. Those are details I, I just don't know yet. Um, so the videos I'm going to give you about the new bikes, they, they, they tell a lot, but there's still a lot that we don't know. Um, they're just not ready to dis disclose a lot of that stuff just yet. Um, but they, they will in the very, very near future. Of course, you've seen the price point on the new bike. Um, it's going to start at eighteen nine ninety nine. These bikes have been selling for about thirty-seven thousand to forty thousand, depending on how they're accessorized. Um, now we did have a, a price reduction here lately. Um, this bike, this one here in particular, is sold, uh, but this is the vintage FE model, standing for Final Edition, and that's basically commemorating the retirement of this particular platform. Um, this paint scheme is based off the nineteen thirty-nine World's Fair Indian. Um, Really a good looking bike, and they only made 25 of those. Uh, I'm down to two of them. And uh, they were selling for 38,000. When that new rebate came out, they went down to 24,000. So quite a price drop. Still an expensive bike, but um, <laughs> much better than 38. So I'm gonna walk outside so you can see these bikes outside. Um, I'm pretty close to traffic, so it'll be a little bit noisy and it's a little bit windy. But I'll kind of walk around and just so you can kind of see what they look like outside in the sun and and uh, then I'll come back inside here. Okay, so this is that vintage FE I was telling you about. 
Um, this one I haven't even had time to get the blue clean off the tires yet. Um, so this one doesn't have the windshield on it. It's still got the blue on the chrome trim and the tires. But you can see, uh, you know, you get them outside and there's there's a lot of chrome and they, they really, really shine. Um, I'll back up a little bit here. And those come with a back seat as well. So it has a separate passenger pillion. Um, you can put a backrest on it as well. The backrest is a quick detach, kind of like the saddlebags. Uh, this guy here I sold out there in Laughlin, so this one's uh, spoken for. Uh, this one's a 2011, still the same bike as all the rest of them. Uh, you can see it's got some leather accessories on it. That one also, this one also has a Stage One exhaust, which is a factory Stage One. It's an accessory, but it, it keeps your warranty intact, and it really opens them up to where they sound good and run really well. Um, they're not so choked down. Uh, here's here's an FE with the uh, white walls cleaned up and the windshield on it. Uh, it really is a good looking bike and it looks great with the windshield and the bags taken off as well. This guy here, this is a solid glass with an LED light. So at night it has a really nice uh, shine to it. It's not really bright but it's uh, very noticeable. It looks really unique. Okay. So you can see we're under construction, they're drywalling in there and kind of getting a lot done. So we're, uh, we're anxious to get moved into our new, new building permanently instead of working out of the old Quiznos. There we go. Okay. Go back inside. So there you have it. I'm probably leaving something out. Um, hopefully that, that's helpful. And uh, sorry it took so darn long to get it to you, but uh, we, we finally got it. Okay, we'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.